I didn't realize I care, cared so much about the forest or that it was so important to me as a writer as well as as a human being until I think you mentioned this, Sarah, until they tried to sell it off. And I, that was extraordinary, the outrage throughout the forest. And it brought everyone together, didn't it? Um, all, all political persuasions, all ages, all classes. It was just horror that, that anyone should sell the forest. Um, for me, and I, I, I'm not sure if this is as a writer or, or simply as a human being, the reason that the, the forest has this deep pull for me is, I think, twofold. One is, of course, it's a place of, of, of refuge, of, of calm, a, a lovely place to reflect in, to walk in, a place that always seems to be new, partly because of the changing seasons and partly because the forest is, as Dennis Potter said, it's constantly changing. It's always new. But the other thing it is, and I think this too is important for all of us writers, is that it's a place of mystery. It can be to a place of fear. It's, um, it's, it has its dark corners, the forest. And I think we've all had our, our, our um, less than happy moments in the forest. And, you know, some of us have met boar out there who don't like us, for example, or, or whatever, but it's, it's um, or we've got stuck somewhere, um, or we've got lost. Um, so I think, yes, the forest is very mysterious too. And I think that quality for writers is very, very important. We need mystery. We, all of us are creative writers. We're all delving into the dark places um, of the world we live in, of our own psyches. And the forest somehow stands in for that. It's a vast proxy, a vast green wooded proxy for our, for our own mysteries, for the mysteries within.